Welcome back YouTube. Today Prince here and I are out looking for some fatwood immediately in around the forest surrounding the Viking camps which is pretty cool. So we're out here in this oak forest which we were hoping to find some pine trees over there. So that's where we're going to go now and when we get there I'll show you exactly what it is we're looking for. And I hope we find it. See you in a bit. So here we are. We found ourselves a nice pine tree or a kifa that has fallen over. And the best place to look for fatwood, well, one of the best places, since when the tree dies, all the sap gathers down at the bottom from the gravity. And it's all down in these roots. So I just did a test. This is my Viking axe, by the way. I've been testing it the last couple of days and we'll be making one very like it with a slightly longer handle. As you see, it's missing just a little bit to be able to swing it, but it fits perfectly in my bag, in the car. And um, so this is what I, this is, this is why it's that short. It's the perfect size to just have around when you need it quick axe and you don't have your full-size tools on hand. And so, back to the video. I've got right here, there, there's a piece of the root exposed, so I took the hatchet, and you see this gold, uh, gold brown color. Whoops, you can see it, I'm in the shadow. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna go ahead and saw this off, and I'm gonna clean it up, and then I'm gonna see what the end of it <clears throat> was able to save out of this piece, and see if I could get maybe a piece out of the rest of this too, if that'd be great. Alright. So I found a real nice piece on this tree. I cut it here. Hatchet. See this nice gold yellow color. It smells like almost like turpentine. The darker this is, the better. There's a piece I got here from on the other side of this. It's even got this orange reddish color, which is really, really good. And that's a piece we're gonna take back to the camp and clean up. You can also see where I sawed it off. It's got all this resin, real hard type of wood, and that's exactly what we're looking for. And if you get a really strong smell when you cut this, that's even better. We're going to do some tests with this to see. Because this is the best tree I've found searching around for a while now. It's, it's pretty tough to find a good piece in this area. There's a lot of oak trees and not too many pines. And then you're going to have to get lucky to get a good piece. So we're going to go ahead and saw this off and check it out. I think we hit the jackpot. Look at that. That is perfect. That is perfect. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can take my thumb. Look at that. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. You got a good smell coming off of that. That is a nice piece of fatwood. That's what we're looking for. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get some more of this off camera. Ooh, it's a lot of work. I'm gonna bring a chainsaw next time. Power tools, yes. That's what this channel's all about. All right, Vikings with power tools. Prince got all the sawdust on you. You know, like doing all the hard work again. Oh, it's always here, right? Carrying the tools. All right, YouTube. Be with you in a minute, show you the end product. I just spent a good half hour sawing that root in half. The saw kept getting stuck. But this is what we're looking for right here, the deepest part of the tree. This is all so hard, 
and as the saw was heating up it started to stick so I was having an awesome time trying to get all of this this, this whole piece here this is all fat wood or in German they call it Kienspan it's an excellent fire starter and uh, in the medieval times even during the Viking Age this was an excellent source of light since candles were especially in Europe candles were a commodity only for rich people they would use a kinspan or they'd have like a splint of this and light it at the top like a candle and there's actually like a, a special holder for it that you could put on the table or or hang on the wall as a candle and it would the only that down draw to that is that this sap that burns it gives off a really really dark black smoke and it isn't the best to breathe it because it's got a lot of from the oils in the sap a lot of uh, unhealthy products to have so this is a good outdoor fire starter I wouldn't recommend using it for the inside but that's what they use as candles right Prince I'll let you know all about that mm -hmm. yeah look at you mm -hmm. right up in the nose okay well we'll catch you later when we get all of the fat wood prepared to get all the rotten wood off of it and make it look nice and then we may be able to cut it into strips which is my goal but if that's not gonna work out, we're gonna have to substitute for what we have. So, catch you in a bit. I lost my camera there just now. I had to look to turn around and go get it. It was laying on the ground. I felt something in my pocket fall. But then the dog was pulling me down the hill, so I had to wait till I got to the bottom and walk all the way back up the hill. All right. And sometime in the next two weeks, Batty the Bagafara is going to take his front end loader and he's going to push all this dirt that's up here up against the wall and then all the dirt that's there down into the driveway so that people with cars can pull in here. I almost flipped the Jeep on the side already trying to make it once or twice a little bit too fast around that turn. You really have to creep. And then he's going to take his backhoe and he's going to push all of this up. And make all of this. It really tilts a lot up, slopes up this way quite a bit. He's going to take some of that down, bring all this down even, and make a nice gravel driveway. That'd be really cool. I'd be excited. Within the next two weeks, we're going to see this happen. So, just tune in to see the progress and. Uh, if you like what I'm doing and you want to support my cause, my PayPal address will be listed in the description below. And now we're going to go get a new saw because this one just broke. And then we'll be back later to finish the axe handle on Amiens axe. And yes, we'll be back later. The axe handle and the head fit perfectly together now. What I'm going to do now is cut a slit and uh, fabricate a wedge and glue it. And we're going to sand the handle. And then hopefully this will be done by the end of the day. Um, now the slit at the top, that could be argued. Some people argue that Viking axes were actually cut diagonally in the top with the wedge. And others do it the traditional way that we know today is just down the middle straight down. I'm going to go with the slanted version just to test that because I'm interested to see if there's any difference between the way that works and the way that you could just buy an axe today with the straight wedge. So this is going to be an interesting test. I've done the same to mine. I put the side wedge. So far I'm very happy with that way that that works. So I'll get back when this is all together. All right, I've got the axe head set on the handle. I've got my dowel. I hope it fits properly because I'm going to take an eyeball guess. So we're going to use lots of glue, which is good. If I have any left. Arr. down a couple of times to set the head back on. Ready go. Yeah. 
Let it go just a little bit more. It's a good thing about this glue, it dries clear, so if there's glue somewhere you don't see it when it's up there. Meanwhile, we'll be working on, on our wood project, our fat wood project. Okay, so turn off the camera, be clean. Alright, here we have the finished product. This axe handle. Yes. I did some carving and some uh, decorative stenciling on it. It's good enough. I was able to save the handle. I'm happy with it. Very nice. I think you'll like it. So there you have it right there, the finished handle. Take the axe and you shave off all the, the bark, all the soft wood. So I put this piece of fat wood in the vise and I cut it with the saw and I opened it up and it looks like we have a nice piece here. So we're going to clean up all of this so that it gives us a nice surface to use right off the back. Really excited to test this. There's Prince right there checking out what I'm doing. And, yeah, like always, yep, gotta make sure it's done right. All right, yeah, and this is all sticky now because I just used the, the, the Sawzall to cut this, which took you about four seconds versus using a hacksaw and all my energy of the day. I'm going to set the camera up, I'm going to shave some of this down, and then we're going to see what it looks like. Also got a whole chunk of it right here. This is that whole root. And we're going to saw some more pieces off of this here in a little bit. I'm sure there's some more good sections in there. That's where I got this, this piece off of. I sawed this root off of that part, and then I decided to cut the whole tree here, the roots, and take it with me. best pieces that I went ahead and kept for myself. I went ahead and drilled a hole through this so you can hang it with your tools, with your fire starting kit. Yeah, these are the best pieces that I have right here. Out of that whole patch, this is the best, best stuff I got. Uh, when I, if I ever do get to find some in a better place that has nicer quality, I'll sure make a video out of it, but for now, this is what we have. I'm going to test this. And I actually have... Hold on. I actually have an experiment, which is... I shredded this into this using a coffee grinder, which is an excellent secret. Nobody knows about that. And it makes the perfect shavings to start a fire with just a couple of sparks. We struck this fire starter twice, and I had a perfect fire. So that was a really neat trick. 
I'm going to have to put it in a different pouch so it's not going to work. Anyway, you two, I hope you learned something. And I uh, can't wait to get back to the Viking camp to do some more interesting videos. We're going to have to wait for the construction company to come out and uh, batty the bagatara to take out all that dirt and put it in place so we can actually start hanging out there more often. That's it for today. Hope you liked it.